This is James Fox with another video tutorial in Microsoft Word. This tutorial is going to show you how to format page numbers for various sections of the document. In this sample document that I have here, I have a title page, I have a table of contents, and this is where the main body of the document is going to begin. Now if you notice on my title page, I do not have any page numbers at the bottom of that page. However, on my table of contents page, on the lower left hand corner, I have a lowercase Roman numeral 1. And where the main body of the document begins, I have the number 1 in the lower left hand corner. So let's begin. I simply opened up a new document and copied the text that you saw in the previous document. Now in order for me to format page numbers in various sections of the document, we've got to use what's called section breaks. Now before we can use the section break, you must place your cursor at the bottom of the page where you want the new section to begin. So for example, I've just placed the cursor at the bottom of the title page because I want the title page to be section 1 and I would like the table of contents page to be section 2. So now what I'm going to do is go to the Page Layout tab. In the Page Setup group, I'm going to click on Breaks. Go down to Section Breaks and click on Next Page. Now I've created a section break between the Title page and the Table of Contents page. Now I want to create a section break between the Table of Contents page and the main body of the document. So once again, I'll place the cursor at the bottom of the page go back to the page setup section, click on breaks, go down to section breaks and click next page because it's going to start a new section on the next page. Now I've created all three sections. Now I'm going to click on the insert tab and in the header and footer section I'm going to click on footer. Then I'm going to go down to edit footer. Now if you notice on the bottom left hand corner of the main body of the document page you'll see footer section 3. If I scroll up to the table of contents page, you'll see footer section 2. And on the title page, you'll see footer section 1. You'll also see header broken up into those same sections. Okay, now I've placed my cursor in footer section 2. And if you noticed, when you clicked on footer, you'll see the design tab come up under header and footer tools and in the navigation section of that tab you'll see link to previous is automatically selected. You want to deselect that. It's very important to deselect that. And then we're going to do the same thing in footer section 3. Place your cursor in footer section 3, deselect link to previous. You must do this in each section where you want different page number formats. Now while I'm in footer section 3 which is where the main body of the document begins I want the number 1 to be located on the lower left hand corner of this page. So I'm going to go into the header and footer section under the design tab which should still be open. Click on page number and I'm going to go to format page numbers. Now in the page number format dialog box the default number format is 1, 2, and 3 which is exactly what I want for the main body of the document. Beneath that you should see page numbering. Continue from previous section is the default selection, but you want to select start at number 1 and click OK. Then I'm going to go back to page number and I'm going to select where I want that page number to be located. And now you see number 1 located at the lower left hand corner of the main body of the document page. Now if you'll notice there are no other page numbers on any of the other pages in this document. Not on the table of contents or on the title page. Now I want Roman numeral 1 on the table of contents page. So I'm going back to page number. Click on format page number. I'm going to select the number format drop down box. Go down to the lowercase Roman numerals. Then I go to page number which is beneath that, select start at, make sure it's the lowercase i, and click OK. Then I go back to page number, 
and select where I want that to be located. And now I have the lowercase Roman numeral 1 at the lower left hand corner of my table of contents page. And I do not have any page numbers for my title page. And that's how you create different page number formats within a document using section breaks. Once again, my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.